what is the quantum address of the last electron in an element? To determine this, you have to um, know how to figure out the quantum address. And the quantum address is just like a street address. Um, the parts of a street address are the broadest category is a state, then you narrow it down to what city you live in, then you would narrow it down further to the street, and to find the specific location, you would need to know the house number. For a quantum address, the equivalent categories are the level, that's the broadest category, it's like the state. Then the sublevel, that's a little bit more specific, it's like the city. Then the street is called the orbital in a quantum address. And the most specific part of the quantum address is the spin. That would be like the house number. So the state, city, street, and house number um, equates to the level, sublevel, orbital, and spin. First of all, the largest category is um, called the principal quantum number. And that principal quantum number is the level. And it corresponds with a color on the periodic table that's colored in here. So this is level one. Then these next elements that are orange are level two. And then these are yellow. And they dip down here and get this first category of this um, short section. And then back up, that's level three. Um, the following levels do, all of them do the same thing after level three. Um, level four dips down into here. Um, level four also is in this bottom section, down at the bottom of the periodic table, which actually technically belongs up here in um, this section right here. They get sandwiched in there. Um, and we separate them out because otherwise the periodic table would just be entirely too long. Um, five dips down here. And it also is down here at the bottom um, of the um, section that's down at the bottom, which are called the lanthanides and the actinides. Um, and then six dips down again. And seven technically also dips down, um, except those elements that are after 118 um, haven't yet been discovered, so they're not pictured here. But in theory, it would continue on and on and on. So the first thing that in a, in a quantum address would be to identify what level on the periodic table you were in. So levels can either um, be seen this direction. Um, these are the ones that are in uh, level one. Uh, these are level two. Uh, level three, and this is picking up that section that was dipping down. And level four, here are the two sections that were dipping down. Uh, level five, once again, the two sections that were dipping down. Uh, level 6 would have another section if more elements existed, um, and level 7 is likewise would also have more elements if they actually existed yet. The possible level numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7 at this time. They stop at 7 because that would take care of all 118 elements that we currently um, have discovered. The next thing, like the city in our address analogy, are the sublevels. Um, the sublevels are indicated on your quantum address periodic table um, as these um, letters. So the sublevels are S, um, that's these two columns right here that are side by side that we've been, um, they're chopped off here, they go further. But for this picture, um, they're these two that we've been calling in class the tall columns of the periodic table. So there's S. And then they go over to this section over here, um, which are the P sublevel. Um, this short section of the periodic table is the D sublevel. And this bottom section, um, which are the rare earth metals or the actinides and lanthanides, are down here and they're the F section. Now it stops at F only because that would take care of all of the elements we currently know. But since we can in theoretical chemistry go further, the categories are S, P, D, F, and they have projected out G, 
H, I, and K. Originally, these were given names based on their shape. Um, so the S is standing for a sphere. That's the shape of the S orbital. Um, the P is standing for propeller. Uh, the D is standing for dumbbell. And the F was standing for fancy. Um, after the F, they just started in alphabetical order. G, H, I, and I do realize they have skipped J and then gone to K. Um, the reason they most likely skipped J is because that's also the unit of measure for energy, which is joules. And since we are talking about energy levels, um, I guess they didn't want to get things confused. So there is an acronym to learn this, and a sober people don't find giraffes hiding in kitchens. It's also um, said sober physicists don't find giraffes hiding in kitchens. The orbitals um, is the next aspect of the quantum address. It would be like your street name. And they're located at the top of this chart. A section is split into half, and then each of the halves are made into a number line. So let's take the S section, for example. So these two columns are the S section. If we split them in half and make a number line, starting with zero, all we would get to would be zero, since there's only one box, one member, on each side of the split line. Let's go over to the P section. If you go over to the P section and you split it in half, each half would then have three elements in it, making the center of that element zero on the number line. And then we would have a plus one, and a minus one on either side. Also, likewise, on the other half, we have three things, and those three things, this would be the center, would be zero, and then we'd have a plus one to the right, and a minus one to the left. Remember, helium is technically over on the opposite side, over here, um, so we can kind of just draw them in over here, this is where helium would be over here on this side. So oh, that's helium on this side of the chart. Okay, so he is a zero on the orbital. So down here in the middle section where the this would be the D sublevel. In the D sublevel, once again, you split it in half at the center, at this red line, and then you take how many pieces you have, which is one, two, three, four, and five. You find the middle of that, that becomes zero on your number line, and then you make a little number line out of that. Um, so minus one, minus two to the left, and positive one, positive two to the right. Same thing, since there were 10 in that section, there's also five on the opposite side. The center spot becomes the zero, positive one and two to the right, negative one and two to the left. Likewise, down in the F section, there are 14. So each side has seven. You find the center of the seven, it becomes the zero. And once it becomes the zero, then you make a number line out of the remaining pieces. There are as many possible numbers for orbitals depending on the size of the section. So you count the number in the entire section, then you divide that in half, you find the center of each half, and then make a number line. The half sections increase in the following pattern. Um, they increase um, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. And that would technically, in theory, go on for as long as elements were discovered on the periodic table.
The last aspect is the spin. Um, the spin is located um, on the periodic table that you're using to determine quantum address um, above the number line for the orbitals. And there are uh, two of them. Uh, there's either a negative a half or a positive a half. And they do make logical sense. The positive to the half is on the right hand side of that divide line that you created. And the negative half is on the left hand side of that divide line um, that made you um, divide them into half pieces. Um, I have a tendency to figure out my spin uh, prior to figuring out my orbital since I have to divide it in half um, in order to get that. So let's look at a particular element on the periodic table and let's figure out um, what its quantum address is. So if you just take, for example, let's take chlorine. So we're going to figure out what's the quantum address for the last electron in the element chlorine. We know it's going to have four pieces. It's like, just like our address, remember it's level, sublevel, orbital, and spin. So first the level. What level is this in? Well, on this color-coded one, it's rather easy. It's in the third color down. Its level is three. It would go across to one, then two, then three. So this is in the third level. Um, don't forget it goes down here, technically, and goes over here. All of these are also in the third level. It's what color is it? And it's in the third color down. The next aspect is the sublevel. To figure out the sublevel, it's in one of the sections on the periodic table um, that is either S, P, D, or F. Or in theory, it could be in past 118 in you know your G, H, I, and K sections if they um, existed. So what section of the periodic table is the chlorine that we were asking to find? And it's clearly in the P section. So the next piece of my quantum address is P. So, so far I have 3P. The next aspect of your quantum address is your orbital. And the orbital is based on that number line that you have to make to figure that out, you took the section, the P section, and you divided it in half. You look to see which side your element is on, and then you make a number line out of the elements that are on that section. There are three. So that makes zero, and then plus one would have been on this side, and minus one is on this side. It's listed right here on the quantum address that we use to figure out how to do this but you'll have to be able to do this on an unmarked periodic table for the test. So that quantum um, address uh, orbital is zero. So the orbital is zero. The last piece of the quantum address is the spin. And the spin is either a positive a half or a negative a half, depending on which side of the divide line the element is and it's clearly on the right hand side so that would be a plus one half spin it the way it goes is it either the electron um, either is has the positive spin or it has the negative spin and sometimes that's depicted with a plus um a, a upside arrow and an upside down arrow sometimes that's with a plus sign and a minus sign, and sometimes it's like with half arrows, like such. So we'll, we'll talk about that more when we get to electron configurations. So the quantum address of chlorine, of the last electron in chlorine, is 3P0 plus a half. Let's try it again. What's the quantum address for the last electron 
in the element yttrium. So first thing is what's the level? The principal quantum number is the level. So that's one, two, three, four. Remember three goes like this and four goes like this. So yttrium is in level four. The second number in the quantum address, it goes level, sublevel, orbital, spin. So the sublevel is D. It's which section of the periodic table can you find the element you're looking for. The third piece of the address is made by creating a number line in each half of that section. So first you take your um, section that you're looking at and you count how many of their elements there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the halfway point would be five. I realize it is marked on this, um, this periodic table, but it won't be on the one that you're using. So I'm showing you how you would do that. And then you make a number line. So that's the middle guy. He'd be minus uh, at zero. He'd be minus one. And the one we're looking for would be minus two. So the third part of the address would be a minus two. And then the last piece of the address is the spin. Which side of the number line is it on? The minus one half side or the plus one half side and we are clearly on the minus one half side so the address would be 4 D minus 2 minus a half let's see how we would do that by looking at the periodic table without the pretty color coding so let's pick an element um, let's say selenium let's figure out the quantum address for the last electron in the element selenium. So remember, it goes one, two, three, it dips down. The way I remember that is I say this piece of the section of the periodic table is coming at you in 3D, because that's the D section. So I haven't hit that where that element is yet. This is the fourth section and I, I went through it with four. So it would be four, comma, which section is this? This is the P section of the periodic table. So four, P. Then to figure out the orbital, I count and find the middle of the section. That's right here. I guess here is the P section. And if that's the P section, there's one, two, three on this side one two three on this side then i have to make a number line so that's my zero on the number line that would be my minus one on the number line so selenium is in the minus one section and then remember this is the minus one half spin this is the positive one half spin so the fourth part of that address is a positive one half so the quantum address for selenium is four p minus one plus a half. I hope this helps you figure out quantum addresses.